Number 1. Brussels Sprouts. Another sturdy cruciferous veggie, have you spotted a trend? Brussels sprouts are at their best from September to March. Aside from, there are many reasons to indulge in them. Corin tells self that they're high in fiber, vitamin C, and folate. They're also super low in calories, one cup has just 38 calories. Shred them up and add them to salads or roast them with olive oil and parmesan cheese. Number 2. Winter Squash. Though squash is harvested during the fall months, it's so resilient that it lasts all the way through March. Once you've learned to, you can start cooking with it in exciting and creative ways. Turn spaghetti squash into a low-carb pasta alternative, serve dinner inside a baked acorn squash, or simply roast up a butternut and eat it plain. Number 3. Passion Fruit. Here's something you don't see at the supermarket every day. Corin tells self that, though passion fruit isn't often associated with winter, it's in season in January and February. Unfortunately, it's a bit hard to come by. She says that she occasionally sees it turn up at ShopRite, but if you're really interested in trying it out, she suggests swinging by your local Asian market. If you do come across one of these goodies, Corin explains that you'll know it's ripe if the skin is all shriveled up. How do you eat it? Cut it in half, scoop the seeds out, and add them to your OR eat the seeds plain, she says. Each fruit has 9% of the daily recommend allowance for vitamin C, and only 17 calories. Not too shabby. Number 4. Rutabagas and Turnips. There's a reason you see, they're in season from October to March. They're both good sources of fiber and vitamin C, and rutabagas are surprisingly high in protein, with each medium rutabaga containing about 4 grams. Turnips are also extremely low in carbs there's just 8 grams in each medium turnip. For this reason, Corin likes to boil and mash them and serve them as a low-carb alternative to mashed potatoes.